Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, North Light Images, and in this video, not in my normal office, I'm going to try and show some aspects of using lens tilt. Now, the lens I've got on the EOS RP is the TT Artisan's 50mm tilt lens that I've described elsewhere. Now, it's quite tricky to show tilt normally in videos, but this is an f1.4 lens, so I'm hoping that um, I've got enough narrow enough depth of field for this to be obvious even on the video. Now, at the moment, the lens is uh, not tilted at all. It's just focused normally at about this distance here. So I'm hoping that I've focused it enough so that I'm relatively sharp. In fact, I don't need my glasses because I can't even see the camera in the doorway over there. Now, the lens itself, what I'm going to do is tilt the lens this direction. Now the tilt will make the plane of focus, which is normally you know, a flat plane here. So out in the garden here will be out of focus, uh, closer stuff should be out of focus as well. Now, when I tilt the lens that direction, the plane of focus will shift round. Now, if I have the lens at infinity, the amount of focus, the plane of focus will come straight out from beside the camera. If I tilt the lens that direction, the plane of focus will be to this side of the camera. So the plane of focus will run along here. Now I'll nip back in in a moment and tilt the lens and hopefully you'll be able to see the effect as the plane of focus goes from around here to hopefully running down along some of these cacti here. So you can see it. Now that plane of focus is offset from the camera. With the lens set at infinity, I've, I've got some other videos looking at some of these effects as well. And it's also covered in detail in my book about using tilt shift lenses. But with the lens shifted that direction and set to infinity, the plane of focus runs beside the camera. How far beside the camera? That distance is entirely set by the tilt. Now with a 50mm lens at eight degrees of tilt, the plane of focus runs some 35 centimeters to the side of the camera. If I tilted the lens that way, it would run this side of the camera. If I tilted the lens upwards, it would run above the camera. If I tilted it down, yep, you've guessed it, it's going to run below the camera. But that's just a straight plane of focus. I want to actually control where it goes. This is controlled just by the focus setting. It's not controlled by the tilt. So by changing the focus setting, I can decide how much the plane moves. So at infinity, it will run like that. But if I've got the lens tilted that direction, it will come in from here. If I've got the ten lens tilted to the left, that's my left, obviously, the lens, the plane at infinity runs beside the camera. And then as I change the focus from infinity, the plane of focus will shift round. So I should be able to get the plane of focus running through this and through me and out through here. Likewise, I can run the plane of focus if I tilt the lens that direction, I can get the plane of focus running across here. Anyway, let's try and show some examples. Now, this is a bit of an experiment and I don't know how well it's going to work. So there we've got the view looking towards the chair. No tilt. If I focus, do normal focus with the lens, we're focusing further away, we're focusing closer. So the cactus right on the right hand side should be in focus. Now let's go back to the chair. Now I'm going to set this, the lens to infinity. So everything's out of focus. I'm now going to shift, uh, tilt the lens to the left. That's my left sitting out here, not what my left where I am here, it's to my right from behind the camera. So I'm now going to tilt that and I've got some seven or eight degrees and hopefully this is with the lens still focused at infinity. You can see the plane of focus has got the cactus sharp and is showing some detail in it. So that's with that. Now what about if I change the focal length because at the moment we have sharpness over here, but here it's soft. Now, if I go back, I've 
Now I'm not changing the tilt now, I'm just changing the focus setting. And you can see the plane of focus is starting to swing round and the plane of focus now runs through the chair. If I focus it a bit more, we've got the lamp off to one side. Now, where is the plane of focus running? I'm hoping that at some point during this, we've got the plane of focus running across here. I'm hoping that at somewhere in this, uh, you should be able to see where the plane of focus runs. Let's move it back. And there we go. We've got the plane of focus running through the chair and you can see detail outside. If I've set that right, I should be in focus. Depth of field should be quite narrow. Now, I'm trying the camera as on auto exposure here. It's a cloudy-ish day, so the sun's coming in and out. So um, let's hope that the video actually works well as well. So I've got the plane of focus running across. So it's striking through me. So I've used that and I'm using focus peaking to see where the plane of focus is running. It does help. Um, if need be, if you need to work out where the plane of focus is running on things, then use something like uh, yeah, this cardboard tube, put some marks on it or something like that. Use that for setting out where your plane of focus is so that you know what's sharp, what's not. So hopefully that should indicate fairly well where the plane of focus is. And I'm hoping that I'm in that plane of focus. So there we go. That's with tilting the lens that direction. So my left here, my right from behind the camera. And now set the camera back to no tilt. Uh, just refocus. And there we go. We can see everything's focused normally. I mentioned that you can have the plane of focus run above the camera, below the camera. If I just move the camera in its mount and it rotate the lens in its mount and it can rotate by 90 degrees, uh, there's no gearing on this, so it is always a bit, a bit slack. So I'm now tilting the lens upwards. You see that the field of view actually changes as well. This is why quite often if you're using tilt shift lenses that have shift as well as tilt, you need to be able to control the shift or you just need to simply point the camera somewhere else. You can see now that the plane of focus is running across the field. Now, I want to be in the shot, so I'm going to lower the camera. And we've pointed it down a bit here. So we've now got that. Now, if I change the focus, I've got, let's say, the lens is tilted upwards. I can change what is sharp. So there we go, we've got the cushions on both chairs sharp. Lift the plane of focus. Hopefully there the lamp is sharp. And if I take it up, you can see the plane of focus extending backwards out into that bit of the garden. Now, if I set it at about here, a bit higher than that. Now I'm going to hope that the plane of focus is running roughly across where I am. So this is with the lens focused up. So the plane of focus is a flat plane and it's coming down. Now if I take this again, hopefully you should be able to see where the sharp aspect of the plane of focus is. This is all at f1.4. And really, if you're going to use a lens like this, it's not the greatest of lens optically, but at 50 mil and with strong degree of tilt, and it's a relatively cheap lens. If you want to experiment with stuff like this for your video usage, then by all means, it's a great lens to try. That's just putting my hand in front just for no good reason, other than just to see what it looks like. Uh, so there we go. That's with the lens focused that direction. I'm just going to get rid of the tilt again. Now, I'm going to tilt the lens downwards. And as you see, the view changes again. If I take it back up to the chair and change the focus to move the plane, I've moved it to the top of the field, move it back down again, you should be able to see the plane of focus moving. And if I put it about there, I'm going to hope that if I come back in here again, 
I'm going to be roughly in focus. Well, some of me in focus. Right, so that's with tilting. But of course, you can tilt diagonally as well. And because I can rotate the lens mount itself, I can actually place the plane of focus almost where I want it. So it's now at the top. You can see the field of view is changing. We've now got a diagonal plane of focus. And at f1.4, we're certainly seeing the outer focus effect here quite nicely. There we go. And this, the lens is tilted this direction. So if I just move that a bit more. And all I'm doing is, I'm not changing the tilt at all here. I'm just changing the rotation of the lens and the focus setting of the lens. Once I'm happy with it, I need to move the camera again and then maybe just alter where the zone of sharpness is again. And we'll just do one last bit of me sitting here and hopefully some of me is sharp. And now in what's actually the third or fourth take for this end bit, because um, I realized just how, once I looked at the video, just how difficult it is to get such a narrow plane of focus sharp and where you want it. As I said, this is where you really want someone behind the camera actually keeping an eye on things and making sure that whoever's in your, your photo your shooting is actually in the depth of field. It's very thin at f1.4. Now you'd probably use it at a little bit wider than that because if you're, you're working close, the depth of field can be so small that it would be difficult controlling focus of someone's face or something like that. But anyway, I would normally use a tilt shift lens through preference anyway, um, certainly for the kind of use I do, where I'm more likely to want to use, take photographs, running the plane of focus along a wall, along a ceiling, um, to, you know, a floor or whatever. But anyway, hopefully, this focused or not focused has given a reasonable idea of what you can do with just tilt. Now, I've got lots of articles, uh, lots of videos, and I've also written a book all about how to use tilt shift lenses, which covers a lot of this stuff in much more detail. So if you're not clear, have a look. There is an entire tilt and shift playlist for this channel, which covers aspects of using both tilt and shift because they are different things. Uh, I hope you found it of interest, focused or not, and uh, please do ask questions because I do appreciate people asking questions on the videos. It's often where I get ideas and content and um, it's useful because it helps me understand whether what I'm saying is getting a message across, actually explaining things at all well to people. Uh, so ask away. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. That is appreciated. Um, although I always remember that at the end. I should really put that at the start of channel where more people are watching perhaps. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, focus and not focus. And the sun coming in and out. Uh, so it gives me a bit of practice shooting in some different conditions. And hopefully enough of me was in focus not to be too irritating in the video. Thank you.